When it comes to equipment, once you've bought a good racket and got your grip size right, the next most important consideration is your strings. Coaches and stringers are often asked some fairly simple questions and we want today to try and answer those for you. The first one is, how often should I restring my racket? The second one is, what kind of string should I use? The third one is, what sort of tension should I have? The first one, how often should I restring? Well, most professional stringers would give you a very simple answer to that. Restring per year the number of times you play on average per week. That means that if you play on average twice a week, restring twice a year. Now, you may not want to go to the expense or the trouble of doing that. What we would generally advise you to do is always restring at least once a year. And the best time to get your racket restrung is in the spring, ready for the summer season. Your strings don't respond particularly brilliantly in the winter anyway. As regards tension, it depends fundamentally what kind of player you are. If you're a hard hitter, you need a higher tension. If you're not a hard hitter and you want a lot of feel, then obviously that you, you will want a different kind of string, but you'll also want a lower tension. A lot of people don't appreciate the fact that the higher tension gives you more control and less power, and a lower tension gives you more power. So you've decided to have your annual restring. What do you need to consider? One of the choices you need to make is the type of string you want the stringer to use in your racket. Now, from the majority of players at East Gloss, a really good option would be a synthetic string. This will give you outstanding feel, level of comfort, um, and we just, we'll just generally give a, ni a nice experience um, in your racket. Sometimes players are frequent string breakers, and in this case, a better option would be a more durable string, possibly a polyester, a Kevlar kind type of string, um, to give you a much harder wearing string. Another option is a, a hybrid arrangement where you have the best of both worlds and um, a durable string in the mains versus um, a nice feeling string in the crosses. If you have opted for a lower tension, one thing to be aware of is that it will make the strings move around. This is especially true if you have a racket such as this, okay, where the string pattern is what we describe as being very open. You will see that the strings do move around quite a lot in this situation. It's not something to be worried about. And especially on the outer strings, okay, there will be a, a lot of looseness involved in those. But this is, this is not something to be unduly worried about. We've covered the main issues concerned with stringing. However, if you're not sure about something that we've spoken about or there's something um, that we've missed out, please do seek the advice of one of the club stringers. Reception will be happy to provide you with this information.